This video will demonstrate how to collect a buccal swab for the detection of mumps virus. Buccal swabs are the preferred sample for confirmation of mumps infection, since viral detection assays, such as RT-PCR, are more sensitive and specific than serologic assays to detect IgM. Ideally, a buccal swab should be collected one to three days after symptom onset, but may be collected up to five days after symptom onset. The buccal cavity is located near the upper rear molars between the cheek and the teeth. When you look inside the mouth, you may be able to see a raised area of tissue that represents the Stenson's duct, which is a small tube that connects the parotid salivary gland to the oral cavity. Saliva that is produced in the parotid gland flows through the Stenson's duct into the mouth. The parotid gland is located in front of and just below the earlobe at the angle of the jaw. To begin collecting a buccal swab, the parotid gland is massaged firmly for 30 seconds. Massage is most often painless, except in cases where the patient has parotitis or inflammation of the parotid gland, and in that case, there may be some mild discomfort. Massaging the parotid is important to obtain the best sample for processing. The supplies needed to collect a buccal swab include a flocked swab, preferably synthetic, and a tube of viral transport medium, or VTM, and eye, nose, and mouth protection. A tongue blade and pen light may be used to locate the Stenson's duct. Explain to the seated patient the importance of collecting a buccal swab to test for the mumps virus. Instruct the patient to open her mouth. Locate the Stenson's duct on both sides using a tongue blade. Instruct the patient to close her mouth. Press and firmly massage the parotid gland for 30 seconds. Put on gloves. Sweep the swab between the cheek and gum near the upper molar to the lower molar area across the duct for 10 to 15 seconds, turning the swab while sweeping. Sweep both sides. Uncap the tube. Insert the swab in at least two milliliters of viral transport medium. Break off the handle of the swab. Discard the handle of the swab. Cap the tube, leaving the tip of the swab in the tube. Label the sample. If the sample is shipped within 24 hours of collection, refrigerate at 4 degrees Celsius, which is 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Ship the sample to the laboratory on cold packs. If the sample is shipped more than 24 hours after collection, freeze at minus 70 degrees Celsius, which is minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Ship the sample to the laboratory on dry ice. For more information on collecting and shipping specimens, visit this CDC webpage.